Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. It is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. It is hump day. Happy hump day. Um, I'm excited to be here because tonight we are going to talk about the libido roller coaster. Um, I'm Dr. Brandy, board certified OBGYN and women's libido coach and author. Yep, got to throw that in there and author um, of the number one best selling book, My Oh My, A Committed Woman's Guide to Getting the Great Sex That she, The Great Sex She Deserves. I'm excited. I hope you got it. Um, if you've been following me for a little bit, you know that it was coming in the works and we launched last week and had an awesome, awesome launch party. So I hope you picked up the book. If not, um, stay tuned because um, we are going to be having an opportunity for you to purchase an autographed copy for yourself. So um Know that that's coming, and if you haven't already gotten your copy, um, you still have some time, and you still have an op you'll still have an opportunity for that. So yay, 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 yay! All right. So how was your guys's Wednesday? How did the day go? Um, I made it home. Yay! So happy I made it home a lot earlier than I did yesterday. So I'm excited for that. Um, and I um, am just feeling good. Just feeling good. Glad to be home. Glad to be here with you guys. Um, glad to have my candles going. Um, I love these candles. They actually um, are really pretty. Um, and they're not real. They're fake LED candles, but they look real and they give a wonderful, wonderful ambiance. Um, hmm. I wonder if you'd be able to see it if I turn this light off. Let's see. A uh, little, a little, a little. This one up top is a little bright. So let's see if we can bring that down a little bit. There we go. So yeah, so we got a little bit of ambiance going on there um, with those candles. Hey, Tamika, thanks for joining. We are hanging out tonight. Um, just talking a little bit about my day. Glad to be home. Glad to be relaxing. Made it home earlier tonight than I did yesterday. So very excited about that. How was your day? What have you been up to? Um... Yeah, so tonight we are going to be talking about the libido roller coaster. Um, and the libido roller coaster is just the ebb and flow of your libido, of your sex drive. And what I wanted to just talk about was how that changes over time, how that changes in different situations. Um, you know, as women, our libido definitely changes um, over time depending on certain things. So um, when you have a baby and after you have a baby, your libido can change and do some things, go, go away, you can start hiding. Um, if you're going through menopause, you can notice that things change as well. Um, sometimes just having troubles at work will give you your um, your libido <laughs> a run for its money and it'll it'll run away and be scared um, if you're having relationship issues that can also um, just make your libido go away um, if you're having issues with family and parents or kids that can make it go away there's so many different reasons why um, your libido can come and go, um, not to mention just the hormonal things that happen um, over, say, the course of your cycle, if you're still a woman who's having a period. So, um, you know, with kind of a 28, 30 day cycle, um, you tend to have a little bit of a, a, 
boost or rev in your uh, libido around the time that you are ovulating. Um, that is a biological response because your body is trying to help you to get pregnant. So it's like, okay, we're going to be ovulating. Let's see if we can make some things happen and get the egg and the sperm together. So you'll notice uh, that sometimes around the time, the middle of your cycle, so about 10 to 14 days after the first day of your period, you may notice that you have kind of an, an uptick or um, a little bit more libido around that time. Um, you may notice that um, in summertime, spring and summertime, you are a little bit more um, receptive and open to sexual activity. Um, some of that just has to do with, you know, you're, you're wearing cute clothes, cuter clothes. Um, although in California, most of the time we get to wear um, a lot of things that are appropriate for spring and summer. Although this week it's been super cold and we had a frost advisory yesterday and all kinds of stuff. But normally, um, you know, we can get away with wearing spring and summer clothes in the fall and sometimes the winter too. So, um, but you know, just wearing a different type of clothing, um, more dresses and shorts, um, more sandals and things like that can also make it so that you are having um, a little bit more, uh, being a little bit more open, feeling a little bit more confident, a little bit more sexy. Um, so that's also a time where you may notice an uptick um, just based on kind of the, the biology and the nature of things. So, um, that's a couple of things that you can look to to see, you know, what's going on with me? Is that happening? Am I noticing those things happening um, every month or with the change of the seasons? What's going on? Um, sometimes you can have uh, changes with your libido based on your medical condition. So um, in clinic this week, I actually saw a woman who had come in um, and she was telling me about her um, concerns with her libido. Um, and she was saying, you know, and she had done some research on her own and she was like, you know, could my thyroid be the cause for what's happening with my libido? And so we talked a little bit about it and, you know, digging and finding out what actually was going on with her thyroid and when was the last time she had her levels checked, if she's taking medications, things like that. Um, and so one of the action plans that I gave her was, okay, we're going to check your levels and see where you are, but we're also going to do a couple of other things just to help because she also had some other things going on um, in her life that could definitely impact her libido. Hey, thanks Gary for joining. You're all the way in London? Wow, thanks so much for joining. I hope you enjoy the show. So we're just talking a little bit about the ebb and flow of libido for women. Um, and what, we're find, what we find is that there are a number of different things that can contribute. So like the patient that I saw, she had a thyroid issue, but she also had some other things going on that needed to be addressed. So I gave her a couple of tips on some things to do. Um, and if you guys have gotten my biohacks for a better sex life, um, I gave her some of the tips from in there because they are, they work and they're simple, but they work and they help. Um, so I directed her to that. And, you know, we'll follow up in a couple months and see how she's doing. Um, but, you know, health issues, health concerns can contribute to your libido kind of dropping off or being incognito, essentially, and just going away. Um, you can also, like we said, have some issues with relationship stuff. Um, if there's any unresolved relational issues that are going on, that can sometimes put a damper on things, um, especially if you're feeling some resentment or bitterness um, that really makes it hard for you to be able to open up um, to not only receiving pleasure, but being a part of someone else getting pleasure too. Um, so definitely if there's relational issues, you want to work those out. 
Um, you know, there's that saying of, you know, don't go to bed angry with your partner, um, which is important because if you're going to bed angry, then you have more, more opportunity for resentments and bitterness to set in. And it can be hard to uproot those and get around those and get away from those and get back to a sense of connection, a sense of partnership um, and intimacy with your partner. So if you can, whatever you can do to minimize those times where you're so angry that you just, you can't resolve anything, um, you know, that's awesome. And sometimes you can't resolve it on your own. You have to get help from someone. So whether that be a therapist or through your pastor at church, through, you know, a trusted friend, um, sometimes just being able to talk to your girlfriends and get some perspective. Because sometimes, sometimes we can go a little off to the left. Oh, wait, off to the left. <laughs> and we are thinking one thing and it's totally not that. And we just, we get all wrapped up in the story that we tell ourselves. And, you know, we go off on a tangent and off the deep end and it really doesn't have to be that way. So, you know, sometimes getting a different perspective an outside perspective can help um, with dealing with those relationship issues. It can also help um, if you are, wondering or concerned about your actual libido and what's happening. Um, you know, we've talked about going to see your doctor or seeing a, a therapist, regular therapist, a sex therapist, seeing someone like me, a libido coach, um, to help you work through your issues um, and find out what's your normal, what's normal for you, um, and kind of explore what you like, what you don't like, what you want to do, what you don't want to do, um, those kinds of things. So, um, you know, just getting some help. And then there are also times where everything can be good. You're getting enough sleep, you're exercising, you're healthy, all is right with the world when it comes to your relationships and your family, your work is going great. Everything is awesome. And then still, your libido is just like, yeah, no, whatever. That can happen too. And we don't know why, it just does. Um, and so know that no matter what the reason is, there's help. You have resources available, you have help available. So you don't have to suffer in silence. You don't have to suffer alone. Um, I had a client tell me one time that, you know, Whenever she would talk with other people about what was going on or she would talk with her doctor about what was going on, they would tell her, you know, well, this is kind of how it is, but that's not the truth. It doesn't have to be that way. And as long as you have a desire to make it different, we can make it different. You can do something different. Um, and you know, you can't expect to do the same things and get a different result, but you can do something different and get a different result. So um, that's all I really wanted to share. I just wanted to get on um, really quick tonight and hang out with you guys. Thanks to Mika for joining. Thank you, Gary, for joining all the way from London. Um, I am Dr. Brandy board certified OBGYN and women's libido coach. And I teach women how to feel good in and out of the bedroom and how to get their sexy back. And I um, would love if you are a woman who would like to get her sexy back, if you're a woman who knows that she wants some help in this area, I'd love to speak with you. Um, you can go to drbrandymd.com that's D-R-B-R-A-N-D-Y-E-M-D dot com and set up a free strategy session with me. And we can talk about, you know, what what we can do to support you and help you to live your best sex life ever. All right. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Um, happy hump day. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.